So if there's any noise, background noise stuff, sorry about that, I can't really do anything about it. So this box I have is one of those little wooden boxes and it's kind of, I don't know how well you can see, but it kind of is like rough a little bit in places. So I got some sandpaper to use. I got, let's see, I found this kind, just, this is just what I had at the house, which this is a fine sandpaper. And I found this medium one. I think because of this type of wood, I'm gonna need the fine one. So I got that and I'm just gonna sand the box kind of all over until it's smooth. Okay, so I used this piece of paper and I sanded it down. And I think it's about as good as I'm gonna get it. I got this just as dry, not no water or anything on it. And I've just been kind of dusting off any extra kind of sawdust that might be on there. And then it'll be ready to go upstairs and paint it. Pretty excited. Okay, so now my boxes are ready to paint. And this is the wooden one, which I'll just be painting over this uh, unicorn so that you can't see it. It's sort of engraved, but like, but it's not raised or um, indented any. The stars are though, um, like totally cut through, which I didn't realize when I bought it because it was closed and you couldn't see through. But so the stars will be there, but that'll be fine. And then this box is more of a, one of those cardboardy ones, sorry. So it's, I mean, it's, it's sturdy enough, but it's not, you know, super crazy sturdy. So the paint I'm gonna use is this chalkboard paint. I got this at Joann's. This one's almost empty, so I've got another one just like it. But um, it basically, it's a black paint, but when it dries, it makes whatever it's painted onto into a chalkboard. So then you could take chalk and write on it. So I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna start with, um, I'll start with this box. And this, this paint is pretty thick. So um, it takes a little bit more to get stuff done because it doesn't spread as easily. Let's move this out of the way. So when I paint over this unicorn, the plan is, let me see that up close. Yeah, it just kind of takes it away. So you can't see it, so that's great. Because I don't really want a unicorn on this, the front of this altar. I'll have to be careful with those stars because paint's getting stuck in there. So I'm gonna have to do a couple coats of this. Do one, let it dry, and then do another. Hmm, what do I do about those stars? Um, so I'm gonna paint some and then I will come back and show you once the first coat's on. Okay, so here they are painted. You can see they're still wet and I'll let them dry. And oh, I used these um, toothpicks to poke out the little holes where the stars are. Just kind of went in there and tried to get as much of the paint that was sticking in there as I could. And um, I'll do another coat after they're dry. I'll do that tomorrow. And then I don't have the insides painted yet. Um, I'll have to do that after. All right, so now I finished painting my two main boxes. I also did this little one, I'll show you real quick first. This one I did in like a galaxy theme. And then this is a wooden one from, you know, the craft store. And then on the inside, along the edges, I did gold. And on the inside, I put in this like felty. It's not felt, it's like, um, it's like velvet. And I put that on the bottom too just to be fancy. But then on these two, they've got the chalk on the outside, but this one you can see, you can still see the unicorn, which I had been hoping, it's actually, it's an alicorn because it's got a horn and wings. But anyway, you can still see it. 
even though I put the chalkboard paint. So um, nothing I can really do about that. And then on the inside of both of these ones, I painted it purple, painted them purple, this one too. So um, now I'm going to start working on the stuff that goes inside the boxes and I will show you all what I'm gonna add. Okay, so since the box is chalkboard paint on the outside, which I'll, ex I'm gonna send this in the mail to somebody, so I'll explain that in the letter. I'm gonna add a couple pieces of chalk. Um, let me get the box open. I don't wanna rip it if I can help it. Okay. So I'll just get out a couple pieces of this. Okay, so I'll be adding those two in there. Although I'm not gonna put them in quite yet. So um, another thing I've got to add is one of these white tea lights, just a plain tea light. So I'll be adding that. Let's move the box back here a bit so you can see all the items. While we're on the, sorry, topic of candles, I got some birthday candles. Um, hang on, let me situate them. And they're just kind of the regular candles, but I got them in the color for the elements and then a white one. So for those, I'm actually gonna tie them together in a little bundle with this string. It's actually, um, where are my scissors? There they are. It's uh, embroidery floss. So I'm gonna take these kind of bundle them up and wrap them up in this and then I will tie a little bow or something okay sorry if y'all can't see very good it's hard to it's a little fiddly it's hard to hold it and um, film at the same time so I'm just gonna tie a knot bows too difficult there we go Cute little bundle. Um, I'm also going to add a rose quartz stone. It doesn't look quite as pink on the camera as it does in reality. The lighting in here isn't the best. I've opened the blinds on the windows, but um, anyway, it's, it is definitely rose quartz. I'm also going to add a, let me move those scissors, a seashell that I found on the beach in um, Galveston, Texas. I live in Texas and so I went, went down to Galveston and I found this on the beach. And so it's a pretty shell. It's got some pretty pink in there, as you can see. So I'll be adding that. Then from my garden, I grew this garden sage and I hung it up in a bundle to dry. And I'm going to clip off some of the leaves and I'm going to put them in a little um, I've got this little mini Ziploc bag that's often used for jewelry or I use them for seed saving um, for my garden seeds so I'm just going to cut some of this off and I'll put it in there I don't want to put it in like a vial or a jar or anything because I do have some of those, but I don't want to crush the leaves. I want them to be whole, and that way the person I'm sending it to can crush them if they so desire. Move everything back a little bit so y'all can see better. So I'm just going to keep clipping some of these. And let's see, get this last one here. There we go. That'll be good. Okay, I've also got some rosemary from my garden. It's also organic, in case I didn't say that is too. Everything in my garden is organic. And for the rosemary, I've got this little vial here. It's um, like, it, the top just comes off, but then, which is how I'm gonna fill it. But it's also got sort of like salt, where it's got like one of the bigger ones. I'm sorry if this is kind of blurry. And then it's got, one that like shakes if you're putting like salt in it, but I'm not. I'm putting rosemary in it because I need the 
the bigger neck part for the rosemary. So um, I'm actually gonna have to pause because I forgot my little spoon thing. Okay, I went ahead and put the sage in the little baggie. And then I have, this is actually for, it's made for beading. It's like a little cupped thing, scoop. And you're supposed to like scoop out beads and then dump them into a jar or something. But I like to use it for stuff like this where I'm getting into a small jar area because you can kind of put it inside like that. A little hard to do when I'm trying to do it on camera. Let me see if I can maybe grab this off screen and then put it like this. So this is Rosemary I grew in my garden this year, as is the sage. And I just dried them and um, I like to use them in cooking and in my spiritual practice. Okay, there we go, it's pretty full. About as full, sorry, about as full as I can get it without it um, like getting crushed. So I'll put the top on now. The next thing I have to add after I put the rosemary up is I got some sea salt and um, it was it was coarse. I bought some and I didn't realize it was coarse. Um, I guess I wasn't paying attention. And so I went ahead and put it in my mortar and pestle, which um, it's a little hard to see it, but I got this one in Costa Rica. It's handmade and um, I just ground it up some so it would be smaller crystals. And I have this little glass vial I got at the Dollar Tree. And it's got a small little opening. I don't know how well you can, there we go. Small little opening. So that's why I'm gonna use it for the salt because like something like rosemary, even if I could get it in there, it would be, it would be a lot harder to get it back out. So I'm gonna put this over here and dump it in there. This actually might take a little while. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it off screen. Okay, I've got the salt filled. Then I've just got a couple more things to add. I'm gonna add this little um, pentacle charm. And I put some purple ribbon on it, just a little bit, so just so it's easier to hold. And the last thing is some white ribbon. It's fourth inch thick, just like this purple, but it's white, obviously. And I'm gonna add that in to be used, can, that can be used for cord magic or whatever they want to use it for. Okay, I'm gonna work on figuring out how to get this all set up in there so it's not banging around. And um, I'm, well, first I'm gonna put the labels on things like the salt and the rosemary and stuff, and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, I got some purple tissue paper and I already kind of crumpled it in there so that y'all don't have to listen to me crumpling it. But um, now I'm just gonna start filling it up with everything. Okay, so the sea salt is kind of the heaviest, heavier than the rosemary for sure. So I'll put that like that, that like that. Then let's try the candle up here. No, the candle can go here. Chalk will need to go up here like this. Sorry, I'm not meaning to get off camera. Um, the little stone can go there, as can the little seashell. Ribbon can go here. The little pentacle I will put right there. And the garden sage can kind of go on top there like so. Maybe this direction. There we go. And then I am gonna have to crinkle this up a little bit, so. Let's go. That'll go on top and it's perfect and ready to go. So I will be writing a note with this, um, explaining everything that's in it, uh, like why I chose it, kind of what you can use it for, um, stuff like that. Because obviously, and like explaining like, for example, that the black here is chalkboard paint, hence including the chalk, 
you know. So, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video of how I made this travel altar. I will be doing basically the same for this little one, but obviously this one's much smaller, so it'll fit a lot less stuff. Like, I think I'm going to include some salt in this, but instead of putting it in a big vial, I'm going to get a couple of those little, like, to-go ones, like at the um, McDonald's or wherever. And then I will be doing basically the same thing for this one as well, the larger one. All right, so thank you all for watching. Blessed be. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.